Chapter Number One: Solid State. Let's learn. In this chapter, we will study one introduction, two types of solids, three classification of crystalline solids, four crystal structure, five cubic system, six packing of particles in crystal lattice, seven packing efficiency, eight. Crystal defects or imperfections. 9. Electrical properties of solids. 10. Magnetic properties of solids. Can you recall? Question What are the three most common states of matter? Answer The three most common states of matter are as follows First, solid. Second, liquid. Third, gas. As we know solid has definite shape and definite volume. Liquid has no definite shape and but has definite volume. Gas has no definite shape and no definite volume. How does solid state differ from the other two states? Answer with reference to volume, shape, effect of temperature and pressure on these and the motion of constituent particles and interparticle forces. Answer. Solid state differ from the other two states are as follows. Serial number. Points. Solid. Liquid. Gas. First. Shape and volume. Has definite shape and volume. Takes the shape of the container and has definite volume. Takes the shape and the volume of its container. Second, effect of a small change in temperature. Volume change is small. Moderate effect on volume change. Volume change significantly high. Third, compression or expansion. Practically non-compressible. Small compressibility. Compressible. Fourth, movement of particles. Particles cannot move freely as they occupy fixed positions. Particles can move a small distance within the liquid. Particles are in continuous random motion. Fifth, interparticle forces. Strong. Less strong. Very weak. Next is introduction. First. As studied earlier, the solid state of matter is characterized by strong interparticle forces of attraction. Second, as a result most solids have definite shape and volume, which change only slightly with change in temperature and pressure. Three. The smallest constituent particles of various solids are atoms, ions or molecules. 4. All such smallest constituent particles of solids will be referred to as particles in this chapter. Next topic is types of solids. Before starting types of solids you should know the definition of solids. Let's see definition of solids. A solid is defined as that form of matter which possesses rigidity, and hence possesses a definite shape and a definite volume. There are two types of solids, namely. First, crystalline solids. Second, amorphous solids. Let's us see what is the meaning of crystalline solid. A crystalline solid is a homogeneous solid in which the constituent particles, atoms, ions or molecules are arranged in a definite repeating pattern. Example, diamond, sodium chloride NaCl and potassium chloride KCl. Let us see what is the meaning of amorphous solid. The substances that appear like solids but do not have well-developed perfectly ordered crystalline structure are called amorphous or no-form solids. Example, ta, glass, plastic, rubber, butter, etc. Let us see in detail about crystalline solid. Study of many crystalline solids indicates that they possess the following characteristic properties. 1. 
there is a regularity and periodicity in the arrangement of constituent particles in crystalline solids. The ordered arrangement of particles extends over a long range. Two. Crystalline solids have sharp melting points, that is, they melt at a definite temperature. 3. All crystalline substances except those having cubic structure are anisotropic. The ability of crystalline solids to change values of physical properties when measured in different directions is called anisotropy. In other words their properties like refractive index, thermal and electrical conductivity, etc. are different in different directions. Ice, salts such as NaCl, metals such as sodium, gold, copper and materials, such as diamond, graphite, ceramics are examples of crystalline solids. Do you know? A single crystal has ordered that is regular and periodic arrangement of constituent particles throughout its bulk. Majority of crystalline solids, including metals, are polycrystalline in nature. Single granule of a polycrystalline solid is made of many single crystals, or crystallets packed together with different orientations. Single crystals are difficult to obtain. Diamond is an example of naturally formed single crystal. Next topic is amorphous solids. The particles of a liquid are in constant motion. The stop-action photograph of a liquid describes the amorphous state. In fact, they are supercooled liquids. Amorphous solids have the following characteristics. 1. The constituent particles in amorphous solids are randomly arranged. The particles do not have long-range ordered structure, but they do have a short-range order. 2. Amorphous solids do not have sharp melting points. They melt gradually over a temperature interval. On heating, amorphous solids gradually and continuously soften and start to flow. Three. These solids are isotropic. In other words, their properties such as refractive index, conductivity are all independent of direction of measurement. They exhibit the same magnitude for any property in every direction. Let's see distinction between crystalline solids and amorphous solids is given below. Serial number. Crystalline solids. Amorphous solids. 1. The solids have definite characteristic shape due to orderly regular long-range arrangement of constituent particles. 1. The solids have irregular shape due to orderly arrangement of constituent particles. The order is only short range. 2. These are true solids. 2. These are pseudo-solids or super-cooled liquids. 3. Crystalline solids may or may not be isotropic. 3. Amorphous solids are isotropic like liquids. 4. Heat of fusion is definite and depends upon arrangement of particles in the crystalline solids. 4. Heat of fusion is not definite. End of part 1. For further watch next part. Thanks for watching. Like and share. Subscribe if you like.